guys, this is Eve. Welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today we're going to be using my Zoeve colored acrylics and you can see the names on your screen. We're going to be recreating this set right here that I posted on my Instagram. I am using my red iguana practice hand. You can use my code Zoe for money off. I will have the details down below for you. I'm going to start with my Zoe perfect coffin tips. I'm just going to trim them down to my desired length. I am going to leave the nails a little bit longer just to really show you the process. Um, and as you can see, you don't really have to pre-shape these because they already come in that... Well, they come in a stiletto shape, but they're meant to be trimmed down or you can use them as stiletto as well. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and take my sanding bands in medium grit to blend in the tip to, in this case, it's my um, practice hand, but on a real client, you would be blending them in into the natural nail bed. Now, these uh, sanding bands are perfect to use around the natural nail because they're not going to damage uh, your client's nail. Um, now these tips are actually extremely easy to blend in. They are wellless and if you apply them correctly, they should be flush to the nail, which means very, very little prep time. We're going to be using our Zoeve number 16 100% pure Kalinsky brush. Our sizing is very different than other brands. Um, I will make a separate video. We're also going to be using a 3D brush in a size number 2, which is the smallest brush there is for 3D art. We're going to begin by adding a thin layer of acrylic um, on the entire surface of the nail. I am using our not yet released clear acrylic. Um, this one is perfect for encapsulations. For, or even if you just want that glass effect like we're going to do today. Or you can even use it to just sculpt out the entire nail. It's really versatile and it is extremely clear. It does not bubble up as much as other acrylics that I've used in the past, which leave like a very opaque finish at the end. Once we get finished with all of the um, clear acrylic on the entire nail, we're going to take very, very small amounts of our colors. Now, I chose these colors for this video so that you could really see the, um, the color as I'm working with it because the colors that I used in the original picture are more pastel colors and the camera will not pick it up as easily. Now, the trick to get these really crisp lines is going to be a brush, like a 3D brush, because I've actually seen some people use... Um, to marble out, they use the regular brush that they use for acrylic. Now, this is fine too, but that's not going to get you the thin lines that you want for this specific look. As you can see, I'm also adding some little bit of uh, shimmer. And this specific shimmer is actually chrome, like the kind that you apply at the end. Um, the reason that I chose chrome instead of glitter is because I wanted more of a subtle, very, very minimal um, hint of shine to it. And as you can see, I actually added it very, very, in very, very small amounts. Now, the trick to this look is to apply your lines in different directions and blend parts of your lines. As you can see, there's parts of the uh, these lines that I'm adding onto the nail that I'm not blending. I'm just kind of thinning out. And there's other parts that I am going to be um, blending in a little bit. But you do want to leave some gaps, um, especially around the free edge area, to kind of show your clear acrylic through so that it looks more of that glass effect. Now... Once um, I'm adding the colors, like I said, I'm making sure that I'm adding it in all kinds of different directions. And as you can see, I'm not oversaturating my nails. Sometimes, um, which like I said, it's totally fine. It's completely your preference. But when you're adding on a lot of color, you're going to miss a little bit of that see-throughness that you kind of want for this specific look. And by oversaturating the nail, you're going to opaque that clear that you want to actually see. At the end, uh, when I finish my design, I encapsulate with the same clear acrylic that we used at the beginning. Just making sure that I cover everything. 
I'm going to go in with my last color, making sure that I have my lines. Now, I did uh, speed up this process because it is a little bit lengthy. It is a lot of fun to create this look. It is just a little bit more lengthy because you're going in with different colors and making sure that each line is just how you want it. Now, um, after I finished with all of my acrylic, I did file and smooth out um, off camera just because it is it was a lot of dust and a lot of uh, moving around now at the end I'm just gonna use my gel top coat and I will also leave uh, the details down below in the description as to what um, colors I use what brands I use and as well as links for you for you to find them a lot easier now I don't know if this specific top coat you can find anywhere online because I do buy it from my local supply store but I will try to find it and put it down below once I finish with uh, my top coat, I cure it for about 30 to 60 seconds, and that's really it. Um, it's a very simple look, but it does look very intricate, mostly because of the lines. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, and uh, comment down below what you would like to see next.